Hello mortals, I am the goddess who created the text world of Listeridia, and I have another treat for you for Pride Month. In my last video, I spotlighted the best lesbian fantasy written by a pair of straight men. I'll link it here if you haven't checked it out, but now I want to focus on the best gay fantasy written by a straight woman. I hinted last time that this was a series written by one of the most prolific writers in the business, and if you guessed Mercedes Lackey, you would be absolutely correct. I am, of course, talking about the last Herald Mage series. It starts with Magic's Pawn, published in 1989, followed by Magic's Promise in 1990, and Magic's Price in 1991. The series takes place in Mercedes Lackey's much-loved world of Voldemort. If you have never read any Voldemort books, this is actually a good one to start with because it's a prequel to the first Voldemort trilogy she wrote, The Heralds of Voldemort, which started with the novel Arrows of the Queen, which I suggest you read next. Then there's dozens of other Voldemort books and series, but those two are the first ones she wrote and probably the best introduction to the world of Voldemort. So what is Voldemort and why do people love it? The basic premise is that there are magical, mystical creatures that take the form of perfect white horses and are called companions. A companion seeks out a worthy person to bond with, and then that person is considered a chosen and trained to be a herald, which is kind of a knight or guardian or protector of Baltimore. The last herald mage is about Vaniel, a young man who wants to be a bard but has magical talents that cannot be denied. He must control his magical talent, and fortunately he has an aunt who is a mage who becomes his foster parent. The first novel, Magic's Pawn, is a coming of age and coming out story for Vaniel. I really enjoyed the series, but Mercedes Lackey is not necessarily for everyone because she likes her melodrama. And if you don't like melodrama, you probably will not be a happy camper. If you are someone who likes the feels, you will probably love her writing. I also find her writing to be very clear and very fast paced. She really is a technical master at the craft of plotting and pacing, which is why you may find yourself flying through any of her books. In this particular book, she may overuse italics and m dashes, and it's a fair complaint. And the storyline is somewhat schlocky, but it's a gay fantasy with a gay romance that I think stands the test of time. It was marketed as a mainstream fantasy novel, which at the time was pretty unique. By the way, I saw somewhere that some people were calling it a YA novel. Maybe that's how it's marketed now, but trust me, when it first came out in 1989, it was shelved next to, or in the same row as The Lord of the Rings. The Last Herald Mage gets my blessing. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and may all the books you read be blessed.